Okay, got it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is a rather this is a rather old one, but um, these um, two engineers were wow. running around the bottom of a flagpole trying to determine how high it was. You tell jokes too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know they're standing back. They, they look up. They. they and what to do. Finally, this uh, lady comes by and says, what are you guys trying to do? We're trying to determine the height of this flagpole. So she reaches into her purse and pulls out a chainsaw. Oh, no. <laughs> Cuts right through that flagpole, lands on the ground. She sticks the chainsaw back in her purse and pulls out a tape measure. <laughs> she yeah, goes, <laughs> <laughs> she looks up at the guys and says it's uh it's 28.3 feet she says <laughs> she sticks the tape back in her purse and walks away they look at each other and they say hmm just like a woman you ask for the height and they tell you the width <laughs> 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 Anyway. That's a good one. <laughs> Did you notice none of the women are laughing? They're all laughing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jim asked me a good question, which leads uh, leads me to the tip of the day. He says, I have a picture here and I'm trying to identify what kind of flower it is. Um, right? Is there an app that does that? Why wouldn't you put it over here on the table? So oh. I can hear. Oh. You don't want it. It's computers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the easiest way to do it is to use the Google application. Uh, Google has a wonderful place to store your pictures in the cloud, and you can download their Google and the Google app on your phone or your iPad, and it will say, ask if you want to send all your pictures there, and it will, and that's what I have done. So what I want to do is bring up the Google app and show you how not only can it identify a type of flower, It can also do some other things there. So I'm going to bring up the Google app and I'm going to do my screen share. Who oh, does that also? Okay, you should be looking at my screen now, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, I happen to have the Google app right here on my iPad. So it's already loaded up all my pictures. So I want to open it. What's it called? Uh, it's Google Photos, I think is what it's called. That's all the app is? OK. What in the world happened here? That shouldn't be up there. Interesting. You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> One of the things I can do is, boy, it's not going to help me. It's not going to do, oh, I got to do it with my phone. Hold on. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm focusing on the, the Google app that comes up, right? Mm -hmm. And at the top, when it first comes up, at the top left, right up here, if you type in uh, lion, L-I-O-N, and you press return, it finds every picture I have in my library of a lion. So if I happen to have a picture of a lion and I tap down here, see where my finger's pointing on the phone? <laughs> if I tap that, it analyzes the picture and says it's in not only a lion, but it tells me all kinds of things about lions. Okay. So let's try it with a flower now. And I'll type in flower. And I press search. And it finds all the pictures of flowers. Now let's pick a particular kind of flower there. And if I tap the little, again, the little square with a dot in the middle, it comes up and tells me what it is. Mm. And what's the disadvantage of this? Well, Apple or Google starts charging you after, I don't know, 15 gigabytes of storage. if you do it now, okay? Any comments or questions about that? So Bill, if you take a picture of a flower, say, mm -hmm. then can you identify it by its common name or its scientific name or? Yeah, that's what that just did. Okay. Right, I was on an orchid there and you so see- What does it, it say? Well, see what it says? <laughs> can't really see it much no boat orchid it's on the Not left orchid. oh philanthropic philanthropist yeah <laughs> philanthropist and if I scroll up a little bit it says it's that kind of orchid <laughs> <laughs> Philanthropist right. aphrodite, of course. All right. And the great thing about it is when I take a picture with my phone, it first goes into the Apple library and then immediately gets picked up by Google and put in the Google library. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I use this all the time. I take a picture with my phone. Okay, let me back off here. So I would take a picture of this cup. <laughs> See this cup? <laughs> this is a free commercial. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I took a picture of the cup. And then I go back to my homepage and I go to Google Photos. Mm -hmm. uh, I can get there a couple ways. Let's see. I'm on my phone still. And there it says Google Photos. I tap that. And there's the cup in the Google world. Wow. Cool. So it's really quick to go from your phone to the Google Cloud. All right. Bill, mm -hmm. I have a question. Go. I just, I have all my pictures in the Google fo Photos. Yeah. It's not identifying any of them. It isn't? No. Well, come on. <laughs> you hit the search. No, maybe it was the Apple update yesterday. It has nothing it's to not. Do with, it has nothing to do with Apple. <laughs> okay. You're using, if I look at my phone now. You're yes, using, that's what I'm, yep. Okay, and you click on that, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and it takes you to a screen that looks like tap search at the bottom. Yeah. And then type in something. You should be able to find all kinds of things. Yeah, and I found my plants. Okay, you found your plants. Okay, and let me go down here to some plants. <laughs> I got a tree, I got all kinds of things. <laughs> and I tap, that's no, I don't want a video. Uh, we tap a picture, okay? Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the picture, there should be a little square with a dot in the middle of it. Wait a minute, hold on a minute. Let me do, let me do it on my eye, on my... Um, can you do it on your iPad? No, it doesn't show up on my iPad. Yeah, I can, yeah. Here. No. This, I don't, hold on a minute. You Let don't me show you. You don't see this little thing down here? What little thing? <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh. Thank you. See, I don't know everything. <laughs> Join the crowd. I hope, did you do the update for the Apple? No, not yet. Yeah, wait. Wait. No, no, I'm not going to wait. No, it's. I've done the update and mine still works. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. Your passwords are hidden from you. Oh, how do you get to see them? You have to press the passwords, then edit. Then you can see. Okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you had to discover thank that. You. What you're saying. Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank hey, you. Hey, Bill? Yes. If you upload all of your photos to Google Photos and you delete one from Google, does it delete it from your phone and vice versa? Yes. If you upload your photos to Google Photos and then delete one from Google, I believe it goes back and deletes it from the Apple Cloud and consequently from everything else. Now, if you delete it from, well, upload them to Google and delete it from the iPhone, iPad, or iCloud, I believe it remains in the Google Cloud. Now, what I would recommend before you do any of that, because I haven't tried it recently, I recommend you take a couple pictures and then delete it from, and make sure they're in both clouds or both devices, both in the Google Cloud and in your <coughs> iPhone or iPad. And delete one of them from the Google Cloud, wait five minutes and see if it's deleted it everywhere. And then delete the other picture from the, your device and see if it remains in the Google Cloud. Okay, so try that. Um, just to be sure, before we start asking, telling you something, then you uh, do some nice pictures. Marsha, go try it. Hey, Bill. Yes. Bill, do you have to have the photos in the iCloud before you can put them into the Google Cloud? No. What? No. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Now, I uploaded all the pictures from my um from my computer to the google cloud and they did not end up in the iCloud mm -hmm. so was there a particular reason you did that from my computer yes. yeah i wanted to put all my pictures somewhere <laughs> So I yeah. put it up on my computer as well, and it found all the, uh, the pictures on my computer and put them in the Google Cloud. Now, I'm not sure if it still works that way, but that's the way it worked several years ago. I just put the app on my PC 
and it went to the C drive and I said, find all the pictures. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> I got right. pictures of Windows icons all over the place in my Google Cloud. <laughs> mm. But it wasn't costing me anything at that time. Again, that's the way it worked several years ago. I am not privy to how it works today. All right. Bill, how much is it to store on iCloud? Uh, Google Cloud. Google Cloud. Anybody know the prices for Google Cloud? You said you said it was free for fifteen up to fifteen gigabytes. I think. Are you paying? Are you paying, Bill? No. Well, you and you have tons of pictures. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Google Cloud pricing. Oh. <laughs> oh my. No, no, no. That's for our clothes. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's not what we're after. No, no. <laughs> $300, there you go. Not after that. No. <laughs> Not going there. <laughs> Maybe my photo in your Hello. search. Google, yeah, right. Hey, same thing. Where are we going to get the actual thing? Yeah, there's different aspects to the Apple or Google Cloud is what they're telling us. Oh, wait a minute. 15 gigabytes is free, 100 gigabytes is uh, um, yeah, is, oh, is $2, is $2. Per month? For Much month. Better than, that's better than Apple. Oh. No, Apple's free for five and- Five. I know, 99 cents a month for 50. So it's about the same, uh, for, right? This no. is $20 a year for, for 100 gigabytes. For a month. For Google. Uh, yeah, but further down, it says $19.99 a year. A year. So it's $20 wow. a year. Right. So that's a little savings, yeah. yeah. What do you want? It's a lot of savings. Yeah. No, it's about the same. <laughs> Apple is for 50 gigabytes, one dollar. Yeah. So. so that's the same. And 200 is three dollars. And 200 gigabytes is three dollars, right? And, and two terabytes is 10. Whoa. Those are a lot. So they're the same. <laughs> the same for gigabytes. Manage. Not quite. All right. All right. Let's talk about um, Apple News a little bit. I just sent out to everybody a package yeah. uh, of, the, of some stuff for today's class that you can mm -hmm. peruse at your leisure afterwards. One is a 17 page document on how to use the Apple News app. Mm. All right. Oh, okay. And what I'm going to do I open the Apple News app on both devices, right? <laughs> you have some major categories at the bottom of your iPhone called Today News Auto and uh, Audio Following and Search. 
Okay. So I want to focus on the iPhone initially. And you see where it says following on the phones? Let's see if I can find that. Yeah. There should be a similar thing on the iPad. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. On the iPhone, it says following. So if you tap following, you'll get a list of the stuff that you can follow. Okay. And you can scroll down through there mm -hmm. and add things. by hitting the plus signs. So for example, on mine, if I wanted to get uh, news about uh, Apple, I would hit the plus sign and would add it to the things that I'm following. If I wanted to unfollow something, I would sweep it to the left and unfollow it. If you wanted to find other sources, you'd say discover channel at the bottom of the. Of the list there. And for example, I could get uh, and some of these are subscriptions, etc. So. Right. You could say, what subscriptions do you have? And you would see what subscriptions you had. Um, and you could block particular channels. Like I've blocked a whole bunch and I can unblock those that I might want to get back. Okay, so far so good. Yes, no. Once you've done all that, you can tap today. And today will list you the various news sources Apple wants plus the ones you've selected. Bill, I just briefly caught a page. It says that your Apple News is $9.95 a month. I've got an Apple News Plus, I believe. Yeah. Anyways, let's read some. Okay, that's Apple News Plus. Okay. Okay. Apple News is free. Apple News is free. Apple News Plus isn't. And what that does is give me some of the subscriptions for free. And I'm not sure, I don't remember which ones it was. <laughs> Bill, yes. I look at um, Apple News a lot. Um, yeah. I don't pay for it. Right. And then what happens is that I can't get into the article because probably I, because I have not paid and I'm not subscribed to the source. Plus, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's probably why. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of them you can see for free. And if you follow them and use the follow tab, then you, you don't have, you don't look at the things that you can't see for free. You want to talk about the follow tab a little bit I'm on today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah.
Well, click over on the follow tab on your phone, Bill, on, your, on the bottom. Oh, okay. There you go. And then kind of sh scroll. Yeah. I get back up and so those are the things that you're following. If you start going through there and reading, you don't get the stuff mixed in from the New York Times or whatever that you have to subscribe to. The mm -hmm. Red uh, News Plus, you don't see that. You see it because you've paid for it. But I don't, I don't pay for it. And none of those things that I can't see show up when I'm in this tab. Everybody follow, everybody follow where you got there? Not on your, really. On your phone, it was on following. Where is it on the iPad? Yeah, where is that? Yeah. I think it's... Uh, mm -hmm. We don't have that. Well, if you, if you go to today and you scroll yeah. down through... I believe I'm trying to uh, when you hit the three dots, you can type on follow one of these. Okay. You want to follow on my iPad, and I can add it to channels that I follow. Where are the three dots on the iPad? Okay. Once you open a news article, let's go down here to uh, oh, okay. open one. Okay, got it. Oh, I see at the top. And then you have negotiations it. about peace, about security. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. About security. <laughs> and then you can hit the arrow too. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I did. <laughs> I got Zelensky. Okay. Now, right. So the ones for you are the ones that I'm following. See that on my iPad? And it says for you, that's because these are the ones that I'm following. Those are the ones of today, yeah. But they're from all over the ones I've got. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now for this one, like Vice, I don't want to use that as a source. So I'll hit here. Oh, it says follow. So <laughs> there's no way to unfollow that one. No. <laughs> this one. I'm really not interested in that. Oh, and I say block this channel, right? So I can block it. I don't get that guy anymore. Mm. Okay. And variety, I'll block that one as well. The idea here is to get, go through it several times as you're looking at it and delete the stuff you don't want and add the stuff you do. So that eventually you end up with only the news that's tailored for you. Bill, as an example, try that search button and type in Mac Most, M A C M O S T. Why would, why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> to enlighten everyone. <laughs> and then I can tap the. No, but it, there's, there's something that you can demonstrate on that that's a little different. Okay, I'm going to add it. But search for it first. I did. And now on my oh, iPad. Oh, okay. And I'm going to um, add okay. it. Unfortunately, you're seeing a different view on your iPad. I don't use my iPad. The okay. phone has a different view, and it lets you select whether mm -hmm. you want to see this guy's articles or only his videos. And I don't see that choice. Okay, I'll go to it on my, my cell. It says Mac most on yeah, and then uh, I scroll down. But you now you need to put instead of in being in the search, I guess I'm going to hit the plus sign. Plus, and then follow. Yeah, it's following now. So that should end up in my today, right? Somewhere. Yes. 
Oh, there it is. Well, hit hit the following, it'll show up. The following tab on the bottom. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, now hit that Mac most under the channels. Yep. Okay, and then it, under the heading there, it says question videos and questions. And then the other heading is just, just the video tutorials. So if you change that tab, yep. and then those are all those are all videos. Good YouTube. one. Good one. This is the one of the four ways you can watch his videos. You can watch on YouTube, you can watch on his website, or you can watch on podcasts. By the way, I have a confession to make, Greg. I have been watching some of his. <laughs> okay. Hey, he did one recently yeah. um, about how to do undo on the phone. Okay. So that's probably in that list. He has five ways to do undo on your I phone. Have ways to do undo. Shaking is one, you know. There Remember that? How to undo on your phone. Yes. <laughs> and if you go to his website, he actually has the transcript for the, because all of his videos are scripted and edited. Yeah, he provides a transcript that on his website if you want that. Who is he? Gary Rosenzweig. <laughs> <laughs> I knew oh, that. I asked. He's he's my favorite YouTube guy, and uh, four or five years ago, I drove to Naples to go to one of their meetings just so I could ask this guy questions on Skype. And I had invited Bill to go with me that day and he was busy, <laughs> he couldn't make the trip. <laughs> but this guy puts out two or three videos. He, he's probably more Mac than iPhone. What, I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you this one. We'll do it on the iPad. Oh, am I on video here? Wait a minute. There's a lot of them here we could use. Though. And how do I play the video? Come on. I'm on Mac Mouse video tutorials. How to undo. Oh. Okay, can't do it. I didn't. I haven't figured out how to do it that one. How do I do the video? Same. Yeah. Anybody able to get the video? Yes, at the top. Yeah, you have it. Well, there it is. Yeah. But how do I play it? Yeah. I think if you might have to scroll down and uh, do the full story, read the full story towards ah, the bottom. Of course. Sorry, because of privacy settings, the video cannot be played. What am I well, playing? yeah, because of the Zoom. And, yeah. <clears throat> you have to do that. Oh, yeah, be, please try because, this at home. <laughs> yeah, because I'm because I'm on Zoom. It won't let yeah. me put. Copyright stuff. Yep, yep. Good point. Okay. He does do a good job. Yes, he does. And you can sign up for a weekly newsletter that come for free that comes on Thursday. And in that, he ha he shows you all the things he's produced during the week. If you want to mm -hmm. just look once a week, that's a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. His videos are usually five to ten minutes long. That's, a, that's currently the educational technique as well. Five to 10 minutes of instructions. <laughs> that's, all we can, that's all we can retain. That's our attention span. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's switch gears. And that's a little intro to news. And what's news you play with a little bit, poke and hope, see what you can do. 
You can't mess it up. <clears throat> For example, if I would, didn't want Mac most, I could just draw it to the left and unfollow it. Okay. The second subject today is music. By the way, today's class is only running till about 11 because we have the volunteer luncheon and I've got to get over to it. Um, how many of you, well, I don't know, just think about this. Do you use the music app or you use Pandora or do you use uh, iHeartRadio? There are many different sources for listening to music. There's two different uh, types of controls you have. One is you have a subscription and you can play the music you want. And that's the, down to the individual song. The other is you don't pay for the music and you use a streaming service like Pandora and you get the music um, Let's say I wanted a particular uh, author of music or singer. If I wanted Anya, I could say I want Anya music, but it wouldn't just be exclusively Anya. It would be Anya uh, type of music, okay? So I wanna demonstrate both kinds. <clears throat> and first we'll talk about the Apple Music app, and I'll bring it up on my iPhone and my iPad. Bill, I'm currently in a six month free trial on that. On, on Apple? Uh, yeah, on Apple Music. Yeah, I'm gonna go there in a minute. There, there it is right there with Greg's, well, it's a one month. Yeah, well, I hit it at the right time, apparently. You must have. <laughs> All right. And so there's where I would, I would get the uh, listen. I would get their site. I try for free for one month, then $4.99 a month. And that's millions of songs they have, 90 million songs to play. Question, Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, the Apple Music says play or download. Does that mean you can download it? In All right, we're going to get there. Place? We'll get there. <laughs> Sorry. And we'll, we'll show you how to download music. But you, That's what I want. If you're downloading music, you're going to pay for the songs. Yeah. Okay. I have, uh, I don't know, a lot of different, I have 114 albums on my, my device, okay? And you can look at them, all right, let's do it on the iPhone here. See where it says artist? Now these are all the songs I have on my device. You can get the songs on your device. I've sent instructions on how to do that from a PC or a Mac. And it's with the iTunes um, application. And you can select any number of songs you have on your PC or your Mac and download them onto your device. I, I, I say you be careful there. If you don't tap the right thing, you end up downloading all um, oh. 5,000 songs you have oh, on your geez. computer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when they say select, don't say select all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you can select by song, by author, by, by performer, or by album, is the, the, the options they give you. But once you've done that, then they show up on your device. And you have artists, so here's the listing of everybody I have by artist, right? and there's Anya, and there's the albums I have on my phone from Anya. Well, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I, I'm con very confused about this. If you, if you have a lot of songs that you have put into your old iTunes that you, you had uh, DVDs or CDs and you recorded them in, can you bring those into music? Can you import those into music? I can tell you I have. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I'm, that's why I'm thinking that you did that. I didn't realize because I was told okay. by Apple you couldn't do that. Yeah. You were? Yes, because what I wanted to be able to do is I wanted to be able to put some music on my watch and it has the Apple music. Yeah. So I was wanting to get some of my own songs. I think you have to I put on Apple your, about that. I think you have to put it on your phone first. Yes, yes, but I was told that I couldn't, you know, that you could only transfer stuff with Apple Music with, with the things that you had purchased from Apple Music. So well, I might have misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have plenty of songs on here I haven't purchased from Apple Music. So do I. Well, that's good to, that's so good do to, I. Good to know. That's good to know. Okay. Now, one of the things you can do is I could play an album. For example, I go here to albums and I want to play ABBA. So I hit that and I start ABBA. Remember that song? <laughs> nice. The way you stop it is you hit the vertical lines. All right. You could play an individual song. So if I go to songs and I choose, uh... oh yes, here we go. Get the idea? How, do you have to go through the iTunes store to be able to get from, I've got the songs that I recorded on the phone, but I haven't figured out how to get it onto the iPad. Does it have to go through iTunes? Say that again. You have songs that you paid for? I have songs on my phone that I did not pay for for Apple that I downloaded. From where? I, I did it via the PC and downloaded them off of CDs and then I had them on my PC and I moved them to the phone a long time ago. You can do the same thing now. With yeah, but do you do it? So I have, do I go back and have to reload them from the PC down to the iPad? Yes. Or can I take them from the phone to the iPad? Phone, the computer to the iPad. Hmm. Using the iTunes store, your iTunes, sorry. The iTunes application on your PC. Now, some of the songs, let me go to some of the albums here. Let's see if I go to this one. See the arrows beside that, those? Now I've uploaded that music so it's not on my device. So I have to download it to play it. It starts playing right away. Wow. I'm trying to find an album I haven't listened to recently. Okay. And that music has been uploaded to the cloud to save me space on my device. Okay. They've changed something, so let me let me check something here. Oh, interesting. All right. Um, if you wanted to create a playlist, you say I want different songs from different artists. I would tap playlist and then a new playlist. And then I could add individual songs by clicking add music or tapping on add music. 
And I could say, uh, songs, and then I could just pick a song here. Let's say I wanted to pick uh, this one and this one and this one and say done. Now I've got those songs in the playlist and I need, you know, I'll type sample. And I've created a sample playlist down here at the bottom. Yeah. And then I could start playing the songs in that album. But it's an album I have created. Okay. Can you do anything with YouTube, importing anything from YouTube? I would imagine not. I would imagine not. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Now I do go to YouTube and I, I, I pull up, well, that's a good one. If you go to YouTube, yeah. we go to Safari. If you just want to stream music, And you go to YouTube. Now, where are you at? And I say, uh, and I say quiet music, right? For sleeping. How about for studying here? There we go. Okay. And I've got nine hours worth of focus music there. But I just tap that. Oh, come on, start playing for me. <laughs> we get by the commercial. Okay. And I'm in for nine hours. So if you haven't done that, a great source, right? Now you could say, National Anthem, and I want the Whitney Houston version here. Ah. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. <laughs> Who's doing that? <laughs> That's sorry. <laughs> you obviously don't pay for YouTube. <laughs> and women serving our nation in the Persian Gulf. <laughs> I think that's one of the best versions of the national anthem, by the way. <laughs> but you can do all that. All right. So that's easy to get to streaming. And you can call out an individual song you might want, and it might have it. Do it again, because what did you get to YouTube? How did you get YouTube and on music? Because I can't do it. I went to YouTube, just straight YouTube. See, it says youtube.com. From what, the internet? On the internet. Okay. I can hear you. I've gone, you can hear we me. can't hear you, Bill. What happened? What happened? Your voice, your My volume went. <laughs> you faded away. <laughs> I should. You can't hear me at all? No, barely. Ouch. Very faint. Okay, hold on. Any better? Yes. Well, yes. That's better? Yes. 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 Thank you. I don't, I think I have an automatic uh, quelcher of sound levels somehow. So I went to youtube.com. But you did that not from the music app. 
No, I went to Safari. You went to Safari. Oh, okay, that's what I did. Yes. Okay, well then how do you get it to the music app? You don't get to a mute. You don't no. do it. Wait a minute. So you're just listening to YouTube like you would normally. Right. Oh, okay. Good. I just thought you could have it on your you could have it on your music app and then go to it whenever you wanted to. And then I just type it down here in the search bar what I'm after. Quiet uh -huh. music. Okay. Classical. I gotcha. I thought we were doing something trickier yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm into simple. <laughs> well, so am I. <laughs> Right. Then you have music sources like um, uh, let's see Pandora. Pandora. Let me go to Pandora. I haven't used it for a while. And The last time I went there, I went to Elvis. I just typed in Elvis. And that's what it's playing for me. And this is free. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. And so that you can do from Pandora for free. If you wanted to get your own songs and be able to say, I want to listen to uh, a particular auth a particular composer or singer and a particular song, then you have to, that's where the subscription service comes from. Okay. Yeah. Put the Pandora app on, right? I have the Pandora app on and I can't turn it off. You can't turn it off? No. <laughs> you stream up from the bottom, stop in the middle and push it out of the way. If you're looking at my screen, I put my thumb finger at the bottom, I come up from the, and stop in the middle, and then I can flick Pandora away. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I didn't think I'd ever get rid of it. <laughs> For example, I've got uh, I got a um, iHeart Radio, right? Yeah. You can get radio stations in your area, right? And that house allowed me to start my, you know, it went up, and I took that money out, and I bought another house, and that started me in the real estate business. So remember something, at least find out. And it's not that I'm pushing it, it's just I think rest, wait, you know, look what just happened to me, rest so, oh wait, I just don't want to buy in Florida that's because I'm not here enough. And that's another whole conversation for another show of all the requirements that you really have to, <laughs> to be a Florida. Is that me? So that's my advice. And hey, <laughs> where do you think the next race is? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a particular radio station. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Free real estate advice today. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, question. Is, is there is there a way to import your iTunes library into the music app? Yes. That's what you're doing when you, uh, in one of the articles I just sent everybody in an email is how to do that, how to transfer oh, okay. from your iTunes library on your PC or Mac to your iPhone or iPad. Okay. Bill, I haven't read the article yet. Does that mention iTunes match? I'm not sure, Greg. You know what that is? No, go ahead, please. If you have loaded your own music on your one of your devices, like Peter was saying, and if you pay Apple $25 for a year, they will give you credit like you, you own those songs from the Apple store as long, as long as you pay your $25 a year. 
which means I believe it's that those tunes are then available to all your devices. And you're listening not to the tunes that you uploaded, but you're actually listening to Apple's library music. So you get credit for all those songs. Hold on again now. We start over. What? Which songs? You you load your own music on your phone. You mean uh, I? You ripped it from a CD or whatever. I ripped it from a CD. Loaded it onto your phone. Put it on my computer and got it onto my phone. Correct. Okay. okay. Now you you pay Apple. You subscribe to iTunes oh, oh, oh. Match. Okay. You pay $25. Now those songs are in your, you can download those from Apple, their version of it. Yep, yep. You may have recorded something, you know, you, this is like all those Napster people got credit for real music, but they yep. still have to pay $25 a year. Yeah, but I have a whole bunch of Garth Brooks albums on my PC and you're saying if they don't have a match if they don't have if you might have a, a album from a live live uh, performance yeah they don't have it in their library well in that case they will use your you will have access to your song they will upload it just for you right hmm. now do I have to have the uh, subscription for no no Okay. Just this. Really? This is a standalone. Okay. But you don't get any other music that you didn't bring with you. Gotcha. Where does okay. the credit come in, Greg? Pardon? Where does the credit, how does Apple apply the credit? I haven't, I haven't done it personally, and it's been a long time since I read about it, so you'll have to read up on it. But I think you do it through, through iTunes. So what is the advantage of that? I'm sorry, what? What is the advantage of doing that? You, you in, mo in a lot of cases, you may have a better quality of the, the music and, another, and then you have it on all your devices. Just because you put it on your phone, that doesn't get it to your iPad. Uh, iPad. It doesn't get to your, to your car play. So what he's saying is, if Gives you access to that music everywhere. Streaming service. Their streaming service, right? You could sign up for it the way we did. And the way in which you buy songs from Apple, I'm going to switch gears here, is you go to you go to your uh, iPhones or iPad and you look for the iTunes store. It's the one that has a star on it. This guy. So, if you wanted to buy some music, you go to the iTunes store and then you can scroll down and you can say, gee, I want to get let's do some searching here instead of randomly. Hmm. I want some songs from Anya. So now I've got all the songs from Anya and I'll go down here to her winter album. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I already have that one, so. Oh, Wow Child. I don't think I have. No, I must have that one too. Oh, that's a song. Problem is I have most of Anya's stuff. So let me go somewhere else. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. <laughs> right? Here's one of Frank's albums. Frank Sinatra, an American legend. Oh. Written by Nancy Sinatra. Oh, this is a read book. Read by the author. Produced. That was a book. Hold on. <laughs> These are all books. 
Sorry about that. Let's do this one. There are songs. Yeah, there's some songs. And I can get samplings of each song by tapping on it. Someday. All right. I'm wild again. Get the idea? Mm -hmm. If you wanted to buy one, you tap the, the dollar sign. And did I just buy it? No, not yet. <laughs> and then you say purchase. Okay. Bill, in regard to uh, iHeartRadio, I, yes. uh, I imagine that's an app? Yes. Okay, I stream certain radio stations by yep. Googling them. However, uh, sometimes and with one particular station, it'll drop. So I'm wondering, is there an advantage to using the app? I prefer the app. I, I, I haven't done it the way you're describing, but I prefer the app. And it's free, I guess, right? This one is free, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question as far as all your tapes that you put on email. Is there a way of connecting them and putting them someplace so I can see them again without going through all my emails and trying to find it? Oh, can you copy that uh, email yes. address? I, I don't know. I, have to... <laughs> I haven't tried to do that. Anybody tried to do that? To put them all together, so I can. Yeah, I understand. Uh, da -da -da -da. You should be able to. Um, I'm afraid of deleting some that I want to hear again. I know, I know. Um, sent. Oh, I just sent one, didn't I? Not too long ago. This one. Okay, so there's the email address. If I just right click, go over that and right click and copy, and then I put it in a note or I put it in a document, let's do it on my iPad. Because that's where you want to do it or are you looking using your no. computer? Computer, uh, computer or phone. Let's do computer and I'll just open a document here. then right click and paste it. And then the way I would get to it is hold down the control key and click on it and it would open it. So you can make, you can collect them all. Hmm. Now, if you want, I can spend 10 minutes and do that and send it to you. <laughs> In one Yay. Yay. That would, that would Yay. be really nice. <laughs> I knew you'd bite on that one. <laughs> uh, what I'll do is uh, it'll be, you want it in a Word document or you want it in an email? Uh, this is a Word document. Well, I, then you I can have it on all your, then it would be available to you. I'm not sure. Word sounds good then. Versus one email. Put it email. on the monitor. Say again. Put it on the monitor. Put it in the monitor. <laughs> yeah. We could do that too. I could ask Marshall to do that. All right. We'll do that. Thank you. So much. I just pin them. Oh, I can't get them all. Okay. All right. Thank 
Did you hear the one about the uh, the guy going pulled over by a police officer? I stop sharing here. Guy got pulled over by a police officer. <clears throat> he says, are you aware of how fast you were going, sir? After tapping on his window. He says, yes, I am. I'm trying to escape a robbery I got involved in. <laughs> Cop looks at him disbelievingly and asks him, were you one that was being robbed? No. And casually replies, oh, no. I was the one committing the robbery. <laughs> I was escaping. <laughs> the cop shook his head, surprised that the man was had admitted so freely. He says, so you're telling me you were speeding and committed a robbery? Oh, yes, replied the officer. I have the loot in the trunk. Mm -hmm. The cop not start, <laughs> now starting to get angry and says, sir, I'm afraid I'm going to you're going to have to come with me. And as he reaches into the window to get his keys from the ignition, the man shouts, don't do that. I'm afraid you'll find the gun in the glove compartment. Um, with that, the, the cop pulls his hand out of the window and says, wait here. And he returns to his car and calls for backup. Um, Five minutes later, there's a helicopter overhead. Five more cop cars show up. Oh. <laughs> including the guy's supervisor. So they grab the guy and put it out of the car and they start putting them in one of the police cars. And while putting him in, the cop pulled him over and says, sir, this officer has told me that you committed a robbery, had a stolen loot in your trunk and had a loaded gun in your glove compartment. However, we didn't find any of those things. The man replies, yeah, I bet he told you I was speeding too. <laughs> I don't know whether he would have gotten away with it or not. <laughs> you said a great length, huh? <laughs> Let's see what we got in store for next. Hello? I'm here. I'm here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's thinking deep thinking, thinking. <laughs> next week we're going to talk about clocks the use of clock maps and address the q &A. so hmm. your question okay. talk about the clock and the maps okay all sounds right. good all right thank you bill thank you so much thank you, thank you. have a good thank one y'all thank you thank you have a good week. Bye. Bye. Stay well, Bye. everyone. Thank Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.